Hey guys, my name is Suka Outfire and today I'm going to be talking about CSGO cases and how to know which ones can be profitable long-term investments and different things to look out for so you don't end up investing in a case that either doesn't change in value or ends up losing you money. So if you enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new, but for now, let's get right into it. So let's first talk about why exactly cases fluctuate in price and what causes them to go up and down in the long term so you aren't just blindly investing without actually knowing what drives the prices in the market. So there are three different drop pools for cases. Active drops, which are obviously the ones that you're able to get right now, but these are specific to prime matchmaking. Then there are non-prime case drops, which are specific to non-prime matchmaking. And then third, there are rare prime drops, which includes incredibly rare drop chances like the Operation Bravo case, Hydra case, and some other old weapon cases and some of the sticker capsules. The chance of getting one of these items as a drop is incredibly rare, but it can happen. So how is this going to help you with investing? Well, first of all, let me just say that investing in something in the active, non-prime, and prime drop pool isn't going to pay off as quickly as you may think. Something like the CS20 case may have its fluctuations on the market, but unless it goes into the rare drop pool, don't expect a return on investment. Also, when a new case comes out, for example, the Fracture case, it will keep dropping in price as more are dropped in game. I, for some reason, got a lot of questions about investing in fracture cases, so for the love of god, please don't invest into a new case when it first comes out, it's only going to go down in price for a while. But with that being said, how do we know when to invest and what cases to invest into? Do we know when certain cases go in the rare drop pool? Well, as I always say with these videos, it's Valve, so of course we don't know. There's no consistent schedule to cases getting removed or moved to the non-prime drop pool, or whatever Valve decided to do with the case. But one thing that does seem certain is that the items in the rare drop pool don't get added back into the normal drop pools. Now, this doesn't mean Valve won't go haywire and won't do it in the future, but personally I highly doubt it as it hasn't been done in the 6 past years that this game has existed, and I don't really see a reason for it now. So because we don't know Valve's exact schedule of changing the case cycle, we kinda just have to base it off market fluctuations or just paying attention to the drops in game yourself. The CSGO market forum reddit is what I personally use as they seem to be the first people to spot changes, so unfortunately for most cases it isn't exactly something you could just rush into if you want to make a safe, profitable investment unless you're getting into the shattered web cases which I'll get into a bit later in the video, but keeping your eye on the right resources can make you a hefty profit if you know what you're doing and looking at the right places. So now that we know some of the basics on why cases increase or decrease in value over the long term, once a case gets moved to the rear drop pool, how can we make sure it's a good investment then? Because just because it's in the rear drop pool doesn't exactly mean that it's that profitable. Something like the Bravo case is currently sitting at $30, while the Shadow case is only 11 cents. They're both in the rear drop pool, so why is there such a difference in price? It heavily depends on the quantity on the market and how many have been put into the game, and also how sought after the items are in the case. The Bravo case was an operation drop from September 2013 to February 2014, which is obviously only a period of a couple months, while well, something like the Shadow case was released in September of 2015 and were in the active drop pool for quite a while longer than that. I don't know an exact date for Shadow cases, but I probably would guess it was at least two years. It was a pretty long time. And for them to be dropping consistently for two years, there's a lot just sitting around in people's inventories just waiting to be sold. Which is part of the reason why they're at such a low price point, although being in the rare drop pool alongside the Bravo case. Another reason why Shadow cases and some other cases still stand at a low price point is because of the items in them. Compare the Shadow case, a case with a not so light knife, versus something like the Breakout case with the Butterfly knife, which is probably the most sought after knife in the game. Although the Breakout case is only around 95 cents on the Steam market, 
Once again, keep in mind that it had been dropping for ages, but it is a great long-term investment in my eyes, which is why I actually invested in 400 of them. But that's a different story, man. If you think breakout cases are as good as I do, definitely put some money into it. But another thing to keep in mind is that cases are obviously a consumable item. If they have items of value in them and aren't in the active drop pool, for example the breakout case or the shattered web case, they're going to go up in the long term. They will have spikes in price up and down based on the current hype around them, especially the shattered web case which that thing's like a roller coaster on the market currently, I don't know what's going on there, but honestly, it seems like now things are finally starting to flatten out and it's not that bad of a time to invest at all in something like the shattered web case or the breakout case. As for all the investing stuff, I always recommend doing it through Skin Baron. Both breakout cases and shattered web cases are currently 30 cents cheaper than on the Steam market, so whether you're investing $5 or $500, you'll save money buying in the bulk, and it really just depends on how much you want to spend. You're going to save money either way. Also, I do have a partner code with them. That will be linked at the top of the description, so if you do decide to invest, definitely be sure to sign into Skin Baron through that, as it does help support me as well. But overall, let's just go over everything that I talked about. A couple things to keep in mind. If you're planning to invest in cases, make sure that they're not in the active drop pool, and keep in mind how much hype is around the case. Would you really buy a shadow case for a case opening, or aim for something like the breakout case which has a much better knife? Also, keep in mind that case investments are definitely long term. Don't expect a profit in a few days, except maybe in the shattered web cases if they go through another spike, but don't count on it, it's way safer to invest in the long term. And also, if you have suspicion of a case going into the rare drop pool soon, maybe keep an eye on them. I actually made a video talking about this exact case with CS20 cases, so be sure to check that out. But besides that, I think that does wrap it up for this video, so thank you guys so much for watching, and if you did enjoy and want to see more investing content like this, definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.